What's going on guys? Seems like there's been a lot of confusion lately in terms of the iOS 14 update and then the back end of the business manager in Facebook and what do we have to do to verify our domain. So I've seen a lot of videos floating around but I don't think, I think people are still having an issue because we're not covering everything that needs to happen. Not only do you need to verify your domain but you got to go in and you got to set your events back up once your domain is verified. And so I figured I'll just walk you through that whole process. It's actually really simple. So I'm just going to go into my business manager here. I'm going to go to a pixel that I haven't already done. And so I'm just going to select one of these pixels that I haven't verified yet. And when you select that pixel, you're going to see that there's this new tab down here that says aggregated event measurement. And you're just going to want to click on that. And when you click on that, you're going to see this configure web events. So just click on configure web events. And then you're going to find the main domain. So like if you're, if you're working within like a hosted page, so like if you're using ClickFunnels, you don't have to verify ClickFunnels. Uh, you don't have to verify the ClickFunnels domain. You only have to verify the one that you own. Okay, so if it's a third-party domain, you don't have to worry about it. So find the one that's yours and click Verify Domain. And then it's going to open up another page inside of your business manager because they want to make this as difficult as possible. So then you're going to see Funnel Designer doesn't have any domains yet. Manage your domain. So I'm going to click Add. And so now I'm going to add my domain, which doesn't make any sense because it already says I don't have any domains. It should know that. All right. So I'm just going to click Add Domain. Then it should populate, but sometimes it doesn't. And so if it doesn't populate, just refresh. Okay, so now that I've refreshed this, it's going to give me this TXT or this text record. And so what I need to do is I actually need to go into my DNS registrar. So I have Google as my DNS or my domain registrar. And I'm going to take this and copy it. And I'm just going to head over to my registrar. And actually, I'll show you here. It says, log into your domain registrar and visit the DNS records section. Add this text record in your DNS configuration. Add at in the host field if your domain host requires it, okay? So I'm gonna take this text record, I'm gonna add this in, I'm gonna add the at in the host field, and then we're just gonna add it. So I'm gonna go down to my DNS, so in Google I just click on this DNS over here. I'm gonna go down into my custom resource records. The at is in the source field, I'm gonna click text as my selection, leave this at 1H, and then paste, and then add, okay? So now that you've added this to your DNS, it's going to populate and it should save right away. It says it'll take effect in the next 48 hours. But what I've experienced in Facebook is my other one registered right away. So it could be hit or miss. It might be, you know, 48 hours. It might be two minutes. It might be 10 hours. I don't know. Okay, so we'll just go over and, and check here. So now that I've added it, we're just going to go back to where we came from and click verify. So it says that it still haven't, hasn't found it yet. So we're going to have to give this a little bit of time. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do once we have actually um, had the chance to verify this. We'll try one more time here. Perfect. We don't even have to take a break. So now, like I said, sometimes it can take two minutes, two hours, two days, whatever it is. But I'm verified now. So most people will say, okay, we're done. Well, that's not the case. Okay, so if you have any events set up inside of your pixel. So if I go into my events manager now. This is the step that most people are missing right now to be able to finalize this whole thing. So once you're in your events manager, make sure that you click on the pixel that you just worked with. Okay, so if you have multiple pixels, make sure you're selected on that. So I'm gonna go do the exact same thing that I just did. I'm gonna go here to aggregated event measurement. I'm gonna go to configure web events. This should populate. So now you see here that my domain is verified, but now it says assigned events zero. So I'm going to click on this, and then it's going to bring this Edit Events button, and I'm going to click on this. Okay, may take up to 48 hours, yada, yada, yada. It says the same thing. So it says once Apple begins enforcing this, that. So I'm going to go Edit. So now here's where you have to add your event. So I need to go in here, and I need to add my event. So find your pixel that you're choosing from. I need to find my event. So let's just say I'm going to add an Add to Cart. Okay, so there's my event. I'm going to submit. Now this is here, yada, yada, yada. It may take 48 hours. Yes, I understand. Apply. Okay, so now I've, I've not only successfully verified my domain, but I've, I've verified that that event is going to be occurring on that domain to satisfy the new regulations that 
Apple and Facebook and everything is going through. So now when I go in to that actual pixel, if I have any, um, if I have any ads running inside of that uh, pixel, you won't get that error anymore that says, um, I can't remember what the exact error says, something like this event can't be found, et cetera, et cetera. So you're not gonna get that error anymore. All right, so that is the whole process. You have to do that for every event too. So if you're tracking six, 10 events or whatever you're doing on your page, you have to go in manually and do every single event inside of that pixel for that um, actual, inside of your events manager for that pixel, okay? So hopefully that clears things up. I think if, if you do those two things, if you verify your domain and you're verifying your event, I don't think you should have any issue, all right? So once again, I've seen a lot of those questions out there, so hopefully that helps answer everybody's questions. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I think we're figuring our way out how to navigate around this, but um, good luck to everybody. Hopefully that helps. All right, see ya.